Trekker Weather starts now with meteorologist Joey Bianconi. All right, welcome back everybody. It looks beautiful out there right now, but don't let that fool you. Partly cloudy skies, 55 degrees. We have the possibility of some severe weather in both Helena and Great Falls today. So temperatures are quite warm out there. A much different story than the morning lows that we've had over the past couple of days. We're in the 40s and 50s out there as well as some pretty high dew points. We're in the 40s and 50s and dew points as well, but the dew points will continue to rise throughout the day where most of central and parts of western Montana could scrape into the 50s for our dew points, which means that's some ripe fuel for th some thunderstorms to get going. We already have some activity out there this morning, specifically in southeastern Montana, just to the south of Mile City in the Coal Strip area. Lots of lightning with this cell right now. No severe warnings right now as we don't have all the ingredients in place just yet. But the fact that we do have some thunderstorms out there this morning and already forming in places like Big Sandy to the south of Haver, moving towards the Fort Belknap area, that is not a good sign that we could have some pretty strong storms out there later on. We have a shower just south of Cut Bank. No lightning with that right now. So here's a look at our setup for today. We have high pressure, a surface high pressure, in and around North Dakota. So these red arrows here are our near surface flow. We have a warm, moist flow coming up from the Gulf of Mexico with the assistance of Tropical Storm Alberto. And then these blue arrows, these are our flow aloft. That is a cooler, drier flow that is going over the mountains at about a southwest angle here. And this is coming up from the south. So we have significant wind shear in here, about 40 knots worth of it. And that's definitely enough to get some severe weather going, which is why we are in a level two out of five risk for severe weather. Most of central and south central Montana today in that risk, including Great Falls. It just scrapes Helena and Lewistown and Billings are the major population centers in that. We'll start to see storms form, at least the severe ones, around noontime, maybe a little bit after that. But we do have the threat for very large hail today, greater than two inches in diameter. That is golf ball size hail. We actually saw that in a single isolated cell near Lewistown yesterday that had storm reports of golf ball sized hail. So that was just a little uh, insight of what was to come. But also isolated tornadoes cannot be ruled out today, especially anywhere in this yellow area. We do have favorable conditions that wind shear that I showed earlier with those arrows. That is a major player in there. We also do have a lot of available energy today. We will see the sun across much of the state. Look at all of this energy down here near Billings. We have some yellows showing up near Lewistown, some Great Falls as well later on tonight, but I think the storms will mostly be through Great Falls by then. We also have very large hail forecasted for central Montana. The hail ingredients are coming together. Look at all of these deep reds in central Montana in the afternoon hours. We could see some pretty significant hail fall with some of these storms. So tracking these out for you, at least the storms that are out there right now near, My near Mile City and Glendive, they're going to move off to the north and east. We will have some sunshine in parts of western and central Montana heading into the afternoon, which will give way to some storms forming along the Rocky Mountain front. We'll get those that lift from the mountains and those storms will continue to move on eastward. Look at these storms to the north of Great Falls. All of these have the potential to go severe. A nice little storm coming through the Haver area later on tonight. And then we have a nice little squall line coming through Glasgow early tomorrow morning. Those storms could stay strong throughout the overnight and into the morning hours as well. And then we'll dry out for tomorrow. So those storms will be around today. We'll be in the 70s and 80s. I think our graphics are underrepresenting how many storms we'll actually see. If you did notice, there wasn't a lot of activity around southwest Montana. I do think we could get a few storms out there. We'll have that lift from the mountains, and we do have those dew points approaching the upper 40s and even lower 50s. So tomorrow, high pressure builds in. The storms will move out, and temperatures will warm into the 80s. On Sunday, that high pressure moves off to the east. We could see some showers and storms in isolated instances in central Montana. And then on Monday, we'll have a dry cold front that moves through. We'll lower our temperatures back down into the 80s, but we'll have another system moving through middle of next week.